there was a moment for me and I talk about it quite openly where I knew I wasn't right. Pull myself together and get to work. I put my stuff in the change room and then I went to the bathroom and I remember looking at myself in the mirror once I was done, my eyes were still red, going, what are you doing? Like, don't be here, this isn't, this isn't right for you. When I finished working in the force, I was a general duty sergeant. So you have to think that I was in the force for 18 years, so there are many things that contributed to trauma. So during one shift, you could see a deceased, uh, you could see a violent domestic, you could see a horrific car accident, um, you could see the death of a child, a sexual assault, um, multiple things that, looking back, was not what a normal person would see during their career. So the trauma throughout my career, I think I managed by packing it away. You know, my friends would love to hear me tell all the gruesome stories. And then they'd say, how do you, how do you survive that? And I said, I don't know, I just put it in a box and put it away. And then only through my injury did I come to realise through my treatment that that wasn't the best thing to do. The first signs of my trauma was my drinking. So I would go home after a shift, 6.30 at night after a 12 hour shift, I would drink a bottle of wine and then I'd be up again at 4am in the morning and turn up to work. I was completely functioning. And I'd do that over and over again. I had no happy emotion and I had no sad emotion. So I'd go to a traumatic incident that was horrific and I would have zero sense of emotion. I had to have, I'd feel nothing. I was in the cops for 18 years. How did I not know what PTSD was? I was very depressed, very anxious. It must have been my partner that said, hey, you've got to speak to someone. You think I was just told that's what, that's what you've got to do. <laughs> so my first connection with law partners uh, was when my partner actually suggested to ring law partners. Um, and I remember walking in there and thinking, okay, like maybe this isn't as bad as what I thought it would be. And then after our first meeting and telling my story, um, I felt like it's okay, Pia, like it'll be okay. It might take a while, but I'll be okay. They've got my back. At least now I, I had that relief that someone was looking out for me, whereas previously no one was. Felt like I could trust them enough to fight that battle for me. And that was a massive relief. For many years, I would meet my school friends, my high school girlfriends, and we would have our goals for the following year. And my goal was always to find my purpose in life. That was it, year after year after year after year, serving in the police, that was my goal. Find your purpose, like, you know, Everyone thought that I had my life together, that I had my purpose, but I didn't. And I can honestly say that today, throughout this journey, through my injury, I have truly found my purpose. I feel fulfilled. It's hard. Some days are hard. I still struggle. I still have treatment. Um, but I can honestly say that I have fulfilled my purpose.